Today we're going to be uh, changing out a compressor. Uh, I haven't changed out a compressor in about 15 years. So this should be interesting. Stay tuned, you don't want to miss it. This is a Train XR. So this is a 4TTR30018. This is a ton and a half. Uh, when I called and checked, and I don't normally work on train, but when I checked how many compressors they sold, they sold 42 of these compressors in the past year. basically weigh in what we're taking out so I know exactly what to put back in. Just like riding a bike. Now, like I said, it's been about 15 years since I've replaced a compressor, so it's a compressor removal tool 2000. Hardware. Oh. this and put a new one in.
That's about a leaker. I can get underneath that so we fix that. We got the gas ballast open, which saves on the oil, and we're pulling down. Uh, normally, I do a, a one hose setup, but being this is a op uh, system that's been opened, I always do two hoses. I uh, got a hose on my suction side and liquid side. Uh, these are the big blue hose from True Tech Tools. Uh, these things work really well. Um, they pull down a lot quicker than your traditional uh, manifold. You don't want to pull down through evacuation through your manifold setup if you can help it. You always want to use these separate hoses. So once that reaches about a thousand, I will open up the ballast or close it and let it pull down. So now that we know we don't have any leaks here, I'm going to put my plug back on and then put the fan back on, wire everything up, and we, we wait. So I keep bouncing here, so I'm gonna, this will be my second time purging with nitrogen. I was just telling Tyler that uh, with this system being had used, or you know, had oil in it, open to the atmosphere, you always wanna do a triple, triple evac. So this is my second time purging it with nitro. Um, got to do that to get all the extra moisture out so you can pull into a deeper vac in there and that will mess up your readings so even though we did a complete evacuation of the freon you're always going to have some oil in the system and to pull it down like a brand new system is almost impossible but you always want to make sure you pull it down as far as you can go you know it's below 500 microns is the ideal thing I like to go even lower if I can because the drier and tighter the system is, the longer it's going to last. shattered inside it's kind of hard to see but yeah it's uh this compressor's bad yep she is toast no them pieces i thought it was a piece of braze or something but it was actually a piece of the uh, compressor that just broke apart inside so where are these made at Lions compressors. I think I seen one time that these were made in Taiwan or something. Oh, USA. So I have heard just about four times. It's still going down, but then it goes back up. Gotta love the waiting game. Yep, gotta love the waiting game, right Tyler? Yep. So, this thing was down about 208 microns, and then I heard something in the coil kind of 
sounded like air releasing and then it went back up. Leave it in the, leave your thoughts and feedback down below. What do you think it could be? Yeah, I didn't think you could go so low it breaks stuff, but who knows? So I was just talking to Tyler and I'm thinking what just happened is there was a pocket of oil or something in the system and after that we were down like 208 microns and it must have gave away and that's what because it used to it was going up the numbers would go up and then it would go back down and i think and that's what it was it was, it was that that little pocket of oil must have finally gave away thank goodness because it's dropping pretty good now so hopefully Hopefully we're almost done. We've been here since about nine o'clock, and it's almost it's quarter almost quarter to twelve. Uh, September twenty second. Uh, so hopefully we'll be done here in just a bit. Hopefully it'll pass, and we can move on with the rest of our day. It's cleaning pretty good though. I have a feeling it's going to fail. Raiding back up again. So I changed things up again. I did my old way of putting the straighter core back in, pulling off the suction side, and it's dropping. Not super fast, but it's dropping. Like I said, you can't you can't rush the process. It has to be done correctly. Sorry, I haven't been posting too much. I've been extremely busy. Um, it's mentally, it's been taking a toll on me. Uh, far as doing videos and working and I mean we've been doing two to three change outs a day uh, Corey myself and Tyler and we have still have plenty more to do we're about a month and a half out with work very blessed very blessed so uh, just just letting you guys know I haven't forgot about anybody it's just been busy and uh, come home at night I'm tired I don't feel like editing those videos but I'm gonna start back up again so no after a long time we finally got the pass so now it's time to charge the charge everything with got it on the new job link scale the SR 47 the tear I'm gonna put about just under five pounds of free in on this so what I'm gonna do just like I've always done going to open this up and then I'm going to take this off as I open it so it doesn't let any atmospheric, atmospheric pressure into this. Wow, do you hear that? Static electricity. <laughs> Uh-huh. Yeah.
All right, hopefully in a few minutes we'll turn this thing on. Compressor doing the exact same thing. So, are you kidding me? <laughs> OMG.